Are you one of those queens that keep your hair tucked away for a month or two to protect your hair from the atmosphere? Underneath a wig? In a protective hairstyle? Or do you take advantage of a hair drip to allow that growth? If so, this video is perfect for you. Hey loves, welcome back to our channel. So this is the state of my hair. I know it looks crusty. And guys, can you see the growth? I haven't touched my hair for like two months. So, and guess what? Today's wash day, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my DIY oil just as a moisturizer to make sure that I untangle and unravel my hair because honey, can you see the roots? There's a lot of tension there and we are trying to minimize the shedding over here, okay? So I'm gonna work in sections and I'm gonna try and detangle my hair just like so. I normally take advantage of the winter season just to take away my hair, just to make sure that I allow that growth, honey. Okay, I know. Yes, I take advantage of the cold. And yes, my hair is in the need of the trim. So I'd, I'd advise you actually to try and use oil or a moisturizer when you haven't touched your hair for a while and you want to detangle it. And I normally do this so that it can be easier for me when I'm in the shower and it's easier for me to untangle my hair or to comb my hair. And guys, hold up, can you see that volume? Can you see that length? Okay, so I'm gonna use this shampoo. Go ahead and use any shampoo of your choice. And of course, yes, honeys, I use a generous amount because <laughs> why not, right? I love my natural hair. After that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in with a conditioner. And normally, this is the time that I take to detangle my hair in the shower. And I normally use a white tooth comb. I'd advise you to use a white tooth comb. Next, I'm going to go in with my hair mask and I'll allow it to sit for plus or minus 15 minutes before I wash it out. Normally, drying when it comes to drying my hair, I use a t shirt. That way, I can avoid a lot of split ends. And I'm going to go in with my leave in conditioner. After that, I'm going to go in with my shea butter. Next, I'm going to go in with my strengthening cream. Followed by some grease, this is jojoba oil. After that, I'm gonna go in with an oil. And guys, don't be fooled in this video. I did go ahead and use a generous amount of these products because I want my, I want to keep my hair again tucked away just to allow some growth. Like I said, I normally take advantage of the cold weather just to tuck away my hair by wearing wigs, protective hairstyles, or wearing a uh, what is this? A head wrap. So now normally what I like to do is I like to switch up my styles when I want to tuck my hair away. Today I felt like doing some contours because as you saw from the beginning of the video, uh, it was in chunky braids. And guys, no, this is not a, a tutorial for contours. <laughs> but if you do want a tutorial, please do let me know in the comment section below. Link check. Okay, okay, I see you. And honestly, don't you don't have to worry about the parts being perfect because your hair is gonna be tucked away anyway, and underneath the wigs and underneath your head wrap, so ain't nobody gonna know. Okay, nobody's gonna know. So after that, I'm just gonna go in with my oil again just to oil my scalp and to make sure that I put some again on my edges and on my hair, plus on my hair strands as well. And guys, of course, even though my hair is gonna be tucked away underneath the wigs and these head wraps, I still do wash my hair in these braids. I still wash my hair, I still do my DIYs, and I still moisturize my hair as well. So just because your hair is tucked away, you don't need to neglect your hair, you still need to take care of your hair as well. And this is the purpose of this video. Thank you. 
and last but not least i'm just gonna go ahead and wear my satin head wrap just to seal in the moisture thank you so much for watching guys i love you and i appreciate you please don't forget to drink your water and stay hydrated i'll see you guys in my next one bye